Hi everybody. In this video I want to show you how to do a screen capture using the new Canvas Studio tool. So I'm logged into Canvas and I'm going to go to the Studio button in the Global Navigation menu. This is going to show me the other Studio videos that I've already recorded um, that are in what's called my library. In this case though I want to record a new one. So I'm going to hit the Record button in the top right corner and I showed you already webcam capture. That's what I did with these, um, the welcome videos. I'm going to show you screen capture this time. I clicked screen capture and it's loading screen capture. So this takes a moment. I'm just going to let this ride. Download and install the application to continue. Let's see, hopefully it behaves. So it's installing the screenrecorder.exe file. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that in order to launch the exe file. I'm using Google Chrome currently. I'm going to keep the defaults here. I get this ready and I'm going to hit OK. Okay, so now that that's been installed, I'm going to go ahead and do what I did before again. So I'm going to hit record and I'm going to say screen capture. And now you can see it says loading screen capture and it wants me to um, open the screen recorder launcher. So now that it's installed on my computer, I can click on this launcher and we should see something different happen. Okay, so now I can see, this is what I was waiting to see. Anyone who's used Screencast-O-Matic before, is, this is going to look super um, similar, super familiar to you because it actually is Screencast-O-Matic inside of Canvas, um, which is cool because Screencast-O-Matic is a great tool. So the black and white line, the outline that we see, is going to be the recording area. So basically we need to go open up whatever it is that we're going to record and then we can um, put that outline around the space or resize the outline so that it fits around the space. In this case, let me go find a Google Slides um, that I'm going to narrate for this recording. So hold on for just a second. Okay, I'm back. So I found some Google Slides and what I'm going to do is just position my uh, recording area around these. I know I could present and then do the full screen, but I just think it's a little bit easier to do it this way. Um, I then can see my recording area and it's only exactly what's inside that box that's going to start getting recorded. Okay, so then once I've got that lined up, I'm going to hit my record button. It's going to count me down and then I start Hi everybody, I'm doing a quick little demo of the new Canvas Studio while I record these Google Slides that are on my screen. So I'd like to tell you today about creating connection online. The agenda for today um, is, uh, well these are the reminders, so just be clear to do these things. These slides are not necessarily relevant for today. Hi Denise, um, here's more slides. Here is um, our next slide, so I'm just nav narrating through these, la di da di da And then we come to the end of our presentation, and thank you so much for watching. I'm now going to hit this pause button. So that lets me continue recording from where I left off. I can also um, start over. Right, I'm going to hit the done button here. Okay, so you can see in this preview, I have an audio bar, so that means that it did record my audio. I always check for that. Um, if I wanted to um, trim the front, so if I kind of fumbled in the beginning, and I know at the end I said something about the pause button, so I can also trim that out. Let me play. I'm now gonna hit this pause button. Yeah, so see, I kind of stopped it and then- Thank you so much for watching. So right there is really where the video ends, the recording should end. So I can pull this all the way back there. And now the rest of it will be um, omitted from the recording. Okay, so now here is a Canvas Studio recording slides demo. 
and I'm not going to put any description in here for right now. I'm really excited about the editing tools, so I'll have other, another whole video on the editing tools inside of Canvas Studio, because I think there's a lot that we can explore here. Um, but let me go back. So let's open up this one, and let's get this uploaded to um, Canvas Studio. So this is what it's going to look like as it's recording, as it's uploading the um, video to Canvas Studio. And tells me upload successful and I hit continue. Now I should see in my Canvas Studio account, if I click back over to Canvas Studio, there we go. So now we have this recording. I'm going to hit view and if I hit play. Hi everybody, I'm doing a quick little demo. I do get my audio. So if I come over to captions, I'm going to hit request captions in English. Those will be queued and we'll see those come in. That only took a couple minutes before the review and publish button showed up. So I can click on that, review and publish, and make sure that these look good. Um, just narrow the pieces, la da da da. La da da. <laughs> and then we come to the end of that. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, so then we can hit publish on those. Captions are published. And now, in order to add it to a place in my course, right, I want to go back to my course. So I've been down in studio the whole time. And I want to go to the place in my course where I want this to be added. So let me go to my development shell just to show you. I think it works well in a page. You might want to put it into a discussion if you want students doing a discussion around this. Um, but let me go into modules and let's say this is something for like week three. And we'll go into, um, <clears throat> let's create a page for my week three module. I'm going to hit add page. Select a page, new page. And this is going to be our week three video lesson. And hit add item. It's going to add it to the bottom of our module. I'm going to drag and drop it right towards the top or wherever you want it to be. Then we click into that page and hit edit. And when I open up the rich content editor, remember you've got the more external tools, this little down arrow blue V thing, Canvas Studio. And now I should have that video as part of my library, right? There's the one. I can select it. I can decide on my embed options and I'm going to hit embed. And now when I hit save and publish, that yellow flash meant that it just got embedded. Right? I see that it's the CC button is there. I hit save and publish and I have my embedded slide overview video. Hi everybody. That is captioned doing a quick little demo inside of my week three module. All right, so that was quickly, not super quickly, but that was um, my first time on this machine recording with Canvas Studio using the screen capture method. Thank you for watching.